CataractCoach.com. Let's review the single plane incision. And hey, why does my video get darker during this step? So let me talk to you about the main incision. And the first thing you'll say is, well, why are you showing me the beginning of the case and the paracentesis and all that if you're talking about the main incision? Well, here's the reason why. When you make this main incision and you fill the eye with your anesthetic and then your viscoelastic, the IOP that you give the eye with your viscoelastic determines a lot about the incision. If you leave the eye underinflated with a low IOP, your incision will be too long. If you leave the eye with a very high IOP, the incision will be too short. So the key is to fill the eye with viscoelastic and get a normal IOP, 20, 20 or so millimeters of mercury, plus or minus. Here's the incision, watch carefully. So starting in there, we make the incision a single plane and we enter the AC and nice and easy, just like that, perfect. Okay, let's slow it down, hold on a second. So the keratome is going to start here right at the limbal vessels. And then we're going to make a single plane going in exactly this angle. It's a very shallow angle between the blade and the conjunctiva. And you can see that little indentation there. That's where it's just about to pierce decimase. So now we can advance it some more. You see how the cornea distorted. Now let me show you again an even slower motion. So fixation to hold the eye. Here comes the keratome, starting right there where the limbal vessels enter the cornea. No conjunctiva, still cornea, but hitting those limbal vessels. Start to advance it, and the key is changing that angle. You can barely slip a piece of paper between the blade and the conjunctiva. And we advance it, advance it. Now that line on the blade hits the epithelium, and look what happens to the cornea. It distorts a little bit. That tells me we're right about to penetrate decimase. So now, if you want to push the whole blade slightly towards the floor of the room like that, and now enter the eye. And now look at the outline of the incision, a perfect rectangle, a perfect square, beautiful incision. Now you get the secret. Let's watch again in real time. In real time, Starting there, limbal vessel, starting to advance it. Look at the slight distortion of the cornea right there. We know we're in the right place. Push the blade towards the floor of the room, enter the eye, in and out. Boom, done. Now the rest of the surgery, let's just fast forward the whole thing. You know the rest of the surgery is going to be straightforward. But you know, that incision is such a critical part of the surgery. It's not only your, your signature as we talked about in the past, but also it determines how well the incision maintains the AC. If you have a leaky incision, the AC is unstable during cataract surgery. If you have a bad incision, it induces more astigmatism. So all these things are important. If you have a bad incision, it doesn't seal well. Higher risk of endophthalmitis. You may have to put a suture in the eye. So let's go now at the end of the case. We're putting in the lens. Everything looks good. I want to show you the far end of the case and show you how we hydrate the incision and seal it up and how easily it seals because we created such a nice incision. So watch now. Barely doing any hydration just to the roof of the incision back and forth. Do not do those big, huge white spots of edema on the left and right side of the incisions. That's so B game. You're better than that. And now we'll finish up the case and that looks beautiful. You can do this too. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too cataractcoach.com you'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos and if you sign up for a free daily email we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free come on cataractcoach.com check it out